What is going on everyone? Today we're going to be taking a look here at some pretty interesting news, leaks, and rumors here from Modern Warfare 2 Season 2 and also a little bit of Warzone 2 in there as well. There's a quite a bit of stuff here that has been coming out here more recently and with Season 2 actually being just around the corner and frankly much needed, there's definitely a lot of things that I should be telling you guys about here so you can be fully up to date and informed with everything that's going to be happening in Season 2. But as always, before any farther, if you guys enjoy the video, give it a like, subscribe to those notifications turned on as well so you not miss out on any of my future content. Okay, so one of the first things we need to take a look at here is going to be when is season two actually come out like when is this thing actually going to be coming to the game um it is as the time of recording this video it is january 7th so uh season two is set to debut here on february 1st around 10 a.m pacific standard time 1 p.m eastern standard time and 6 p.m gmt so that's just the standard time when they normally debut all the different seasons around the world uh but it's going to be here in just underneath a month or so and there's just like a ton of stuff that's going to be happening and i'm really really hoping uh this is the season that we all need to fix the game for quality of life fixes updates and you know and so on and so forth but jumping into some of the real nitty-gritty stuff here we have some new weapons that have been leaked here they're gonna be coming in season two which is something i'm a pretty big fan of i like to be able to have new weapons the weapons are some of the things i look forward to personally the most here when it comes to a new season uh the maps are cool and everything but i like using new guns so one of the first things we need to take a look at here is me that there's been some data mining for a new attachment added to the game that suggests the crossbow and the vepper 12 shotgun could arrive from Modern warfare 2 season two it says the crossbow has appeared in several recent call of duty titles i think when all the back to black ops one is when it first actually appeared but it was usable in the campaign so it's all the rival be no great surprise and the semi-automatic vepper 12 has been theorized because private matches briefly showed the unreleased shotgun muzzles and one of them directly matched to the vepper 12. as you guys know modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 has got a great history in terms of being able to show you stuff that's going to be coming to the game a little bit early shoot house release into the game early before it should have it was live on the servers about 12 hours before the actual update so around like midnight or so uh you know central time i was able to hop on shoot house and private match and i was also able to take a look at the m13b before that actually didn't did come out they've kind of fixed some of that stuff and of course you guys could use orion camo and private match so there's been a whole bunch of different stuff that's gone on in the game and there's just like little things they decide to leave in there i'm not really sure why it's probably an accident don't know how that actually works but that's kind of how we're figuring out some of these leaks one of the next things we need to take a look at here is going to be some brand new multiplayer maps as of course multiplayer is you know what we're specifically covering here and there is going to be some uh new leaks here for some stuff and i'll kind of you know dabble in a little bit what's going on with warzone because that directly ties into this map but let's get into it so uh, there's actually been some leaks on the key arts revealing from model for two season two that have convinced players that the map castle could arrive within the update as you guys know castle is a map from world at war that actually got brought back into vanguard is a japanese themed castle style map and it's actually a pretty fun one i'm not gonna lie I, I personally enjoy playing it it's got a pretty good flow it's a pretty sizable map not exactly sure how it's gonna play in Modern warfare 2 based on how the game plays but that is kind of tbd for one that actually does come out but it says the background of this league season 2 artwork shows a japanese fortress but it doesn't completely resemble castle from world at war we will just have to wait and see whether infinity war decided to bring back a classic trey arc map so I mean, it kind of seems like, you know, they kind of take from either or as games now. It doesn't matter. Treyarch, Infinity War, they kind of all draw on. And Call of Duty is like the same thing nowadays. Specifically, also, uh, because, you know, every game is going to be made on this game engine we are playing on for Modern Warfare 2 right now. Regardless if it's a Treyarch title, it will be based on this game engine. So, the kind of everything is just like up for grabs in terms of bringing stuff back weapons maps etc something i do want to touch on here too as well uh just because i said it was going to relate to the maps is that there is indeed sort of like a japanese style theme uh from everything that has been leaked and data mine there's been data miners have gone through and they found some different art and everything of course it has been you know copyright removed by activision so i can't like show you that type of stuff otherwise you know my video is going to get kind of copyright claimed and taken down but there has been a whole bunch of japanese related things showing up and as a result of that one thing that has been making its way into the room rumors the leaks everything like that is that we are hopefully fingers crossed getting a brand new resurgence map here for warzone uh that is going to be coming within season two it's supposed to be kind of obviously like a rebirth style map but it's gonna be more apparently japanese theme which is kind of the whole general theme of season two that's why we have the castle map there's also going to be an operator which i'll talk about but this is going to be hopefully something that's coming to the game because lord knows we need a resurgence map here in warzone 2 i'm personally not a big fan of almazra i'm personally it's not a big map br player i mean i enjoyed for dance caldera was really bad when it came out and i kind of never really got around to actually enjoying it i pretty much just stuck over to rebirth island so when we do get a resurgence map i know a lot a lot of you guys that probably either played rebirth or probably in multiplayer not as much on warzone 2 for almaz right now because it's nowhere close to the same thing so hopefully when this map does come to the game fingers crossed it'll get some of you guys that maybe played rebirth and are on multiplayer back over to warzone to enjoy that once again as that's something i want to be able to do as warzone is really fun but 
it's just i don't enjoy that big map moving on from that here now we have what i was talking about which is another operator that's going to make sense for that japanese theme we should have a ronin operator um coming here to season two it says a familiar face could be returning a model for two as leaks revealed that ronin could arrive within the season two update this same leaked artwork clearly showed ronin as the season's main operator so if the leak turns out to be true ronin is guaranteed to arrive which would of course fit with the japanese general theme and that's also by the way gotta put this out there i love japanese related stuff so if this is indeed the theme this is going to be absolute banger season and i'm really hoping just otherwise that we get some cool like japanese style variants in the shop um for any guys that don't know cod mobile has got a lot of really cool variants out there and it's like i'd like to be able to see some of these like sick ass variants like come to you know the console version or like the main version of the game and not just for mobile and something now for any guys that want to take model warfare 2 a little bit more seriously uh there is going to be ranked play arriving within season two possibly it says while we can't confirm model warfare 2 ranked play is arriving in season two as of yet the devs did state that the highly anticipated mode is slated for a 2023 release ranked play hit vanguard within the season 2 update so it is possible for modern warfare to have a similar time frame for now fans of competitive call of duty can scratch their itch by playing first the cdl mosh pit playlist but otherwise um hopefully it will come here within season 2 i don't really understand how that's not a thing already considering there's the call of duty league it's a giant like you know i don't know it's a 20 30 million dollar buy-in you'd think that they would allocate some resources here to be able to have ranked play in the game off rip that's just me i feel like i had enough time to be able to kind of get that in the game ranked they had enough time to get a lot of these features in the game like combat record which is still not in warzone 2 by the way this is just a lot of things that we need for quality of life updates and frankly i can make a whole video talking about quality of life updates here but i'm just not going to really get into that because there's a lot of stuff that i feel like the game also should have or should not have that just it doesn't really make a lot of sense i do also need to put out there there has been a lot of talks of a brand new ui update which in season two would make sense if they kind of like do an overhaul in the ui the ui is basically how the menu system works i actually saw kind of a bit of a rumor a leak that they hire a lot of people from hulu so um you know the sort of like ui designers from hulu so it kind of makes sense if you ever look at hulu's you know ui if you go on your tv you know bring up some hulu and then you load up modern warfare you're gonna see there's kind of a stark resemblance right there in terms of how everything works and it's frankly one of the worst uis we've seen for call of duty they just took it and just said everything that works we don't need it anymore anyways that's be that for season two stuff hopefully you guys have found some cool information here if you guys haven't enjoyed this video want to see more like this do me a favor give it a like subscribe i'll see you guys all later just turn on triple cap don't be randy and i'm out peace